Hello everyone and welcome to Miss Creator 47 YouTube channel. I'm getting ready to show you how you can make your own monogram letter. So let's get started. I already picked the letter that I want in the font that I want. And I'm also going to show you how to do uh, a monogram heart. So I think for this one, I picked this right here. Let me zoom in. This is the font that I picked and I'll actually type the name up there so you can see the font so anytime that I do uh, something with fonts I will just type their name up there this is the name of the font here just put it there like that okay so let's get started let's do the letter monogram first Okay, I'm going to zoom out. Okay, move this over, bring this down. I'm going to stretch this M out just a little bit. I want to make it to a compound path, but I, I can't do it right now because I want, I need to do something else to it first before I do it or is that with the heart I think that might be with what I want to do with the heart I can't really change it to compound path well I'll see because actually this is my first time doing this so I you know figure it out as I went and you know me I this is how I learn how to do stuff and <clears throat> manipulate some of the stuff that I can't do in another program I, and I try to do it in here so what we need to do now, I'm, I'm just getting ready to go ahead and change this M to black. And I really, for some reason, I'm I'm just, I don't know why I just can't work when I, I see the red outline. I have to get rid of it. Just, just me personally, I don't know why. Maybe I'm just weird or something. I don't know. Anyway, so now I need to separate... Oh, the top and the bottom to get this opening right here so i'm going to get a this rectangle here and i'm just going to make a skinny line about right there doesn't matter it's up to, up to you and i probably could make it a little bit more okay right here in the middle okay that's fine with me so i'm going to size it down i'm just going to go size it down like this and move it the bottom one i want to do about right here i want to see a little bit of this dip in this m and then i'm gonna right click copy Control V on the com my computer and Command V on the Mac. And then I'm going to sit it about right here. And the the width of between the top and the bottom, that's your choice. Uh, just make it look where it makes sense. Okay, so I have that. Probably can come up just a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to click on one of the lines and I'm going to click on, hold my shift key and click on the other. And I'm going to do a copy and then control V. And then I'm going to right click and group the second one that I made. And I can't believe I didn't take the offset off. I mean, not offset, but the lines out. Okay, so now that's gone. And now I can go ahead and move this out the way. Hold my left button on the mouse and drag the arrow over it to pick up the, the letter and the two lines. I'm going to go over here to the modify tool and click subtract. Now I'm just getting ready to take these two right here that I copied. And I'm trying to make sure that I get even, which it really, yeah, it matters, but you can, you know, figure it out afterwards uh, about what side, how far you want these to go out. And I think this is a little bit too far out, but we'll fix that. So now I'm getting ready to hold my left button down on my mouse and drag it again. Oh, already did it. Sorry. So I can get, 
get rid of these. When I talk too much, then I forget what I was doing. So I have to stop that. So now you have the opening. We can get rid of these. You have the opening of your monogram. So now I'm just going to click that the lines and go ahead and fill it in with black. And there you go. So now I want to just drag my mouse back over. Wait, not yet. Let's try to get these two straightened out first. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get this grid line and I'm going to tap to see if that's... Now, I like the length of this one, but I think this one is a little bit too far out because I can tell if I put another thing here. That's pretty far out more so than this one here. I'll grab another one and see how far this one out. Yeah, see, you can see the distance here. So I need to cut that off a little bit. And so how I'm going to figure that out, I'm going to get a box. And I'm going to try to squeeze that box right up in between there. So, and I'm going to bring this here, get my knife, hold my shift key down, and go straight. So now, these match. Yep. So, let me just delete this. Now, I just have to make sure that this fits right where it needs to be. Okay, so that's fine. Move these grid lines out the way. Actually, I can right click and delete it. Right click, delete. Okay, so now I can go ahead and right click and group. So these are together. So now you can just go ahead and type in a name in the middle if you want. That's up to you. So then you want to decorate your big letter. And I go to do a Google search. And what I type in, I type in black and white flowers, flowers, clip art. And these come up like this. And I just use, I like this butterfly one right here. So I think I'm going to use this one. Is it a JPEG or a pen? So this is a pen. I try to look for the JPEG because I really don't want to save it to my computer. So um, let me put uh, JPG. Okay, so I got the JPG. So let me look for some pretty flowers. Um, I like this one. This better not be no pink. Okay, that's a JPEG. So I can just go ahead and um, copy. Click on the silhouette. Control V or Command V on your Mac. And I got to take the white background out. So I'm going to move this heart over here. And get rid of that. And... Get rid of that guideline. Okay, so I go to my trace, select trace area, go over, and I'm gonna come up a little bit on the threshold right here, and I'm gonna do a trace, and I'm gonna do ungroup, right click, oh, release compound. I mean, I'm sorry, I just want to get this little thing right there out the way. And change it to black and outline black. And then I want to do make compound path. And everything is there. Okay, so now I could put this here like that. I can come in some. 
can go down and I could do the same thing with this if I want to see if I how it would look if I drag it up so okay I don't think I like this one too much maybe if I do it like this or something and see this all about how you want it to look I can put it in here like this I maybe I just don't like that one so I'm going to look for another one or I just go get the ones that I have let me see which one do I have go to file merge and I have this one and I have that one I'll use this one here okay do the same thing trace and detach and this time I'm just gonna do the trace and detach I'm not gonna do the other just this trace okay see when I do that it just takes away everything and then the white still be in the inside so that's why I do the trace oh let me go back I'm sorry okay go back to the trace window and do trace now I can just go ahead and color it black and no outline okay so now I can go ahead and shrink this down and I can put it in like that do a copy control V command V on your Mac and I'm going to flip this by right clicking and do flip horizontal because I want it to be cute but okay I think that's okay there and I need to bring you up with that okay now I can just copy the bottom the same way or I could just put it here it doesn't really matter it depends on what you want it to look like and then I could turn it around this way and shrink it down some because I don't want it to cover the letters or anything like that but I want it to still be cute Okay, and I don't like it that way. Mm, I might have to do the way I have it there, but just a little bit smaller. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to do a copy paste for this. Copy, Control V, Command V on your Mac. And I'm going to do it this way. So actually, I need to flip that one that way. yeah okay bring you out some more bring it down bring it out just a little bit I don't know why you're not matching with that one okay but I need to bring you up some okay maybe because you're not you more of this way okay oh I see you are down this way mostly I think let's see where are you okay there you go all right so that's it right there so now you can go ahead and type in uh, another I mean the actual name or you can do the last name or you can do the first name whatever you want um, let's do okay 
and you just shrink her name down and you can change the color and this is just the outline so I don't want no outline so I'm going to change the color to red or if you want to do a different colors that's up to you whatever color you want you can do pink purple blue I like that that's cute um, then if you want to change the font you can change the font that's cute Uh, let's see. Let me change another font. I don't like that. I think that the first one uh, was okay. Nope. That's all right. Well, anyway, uh, you can change the font to whatever you want, however you want it to look. That's up to you. But I'm just showing you how you can make your own monogram letters. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the first one. This one right here. Yeah. And then all you have to do is drag your arrow over it. Right click and group it all together as one. And you have your monogram. Alright, so now let's start with the other, the heart. Okay. Now I'm getting ready to do the heart. Now I I got the heart from the over the the panel over here where you see the shapes. You have I'm in business edition, so I have two sections of where I can get my fonts my shapes from, and the the default ones are here. Even with the standard, this is what you get. But I have business edition and also to designer edition plus also comes with the extra shapes so I clicked on the heart and this is what it gave gave me or you can just do a Google search for black and white heart clip art and it will bring that up and you just pick whatever one that you want but just make sure that that heart is thick and I'll show you the outline is thick so let me go ahead and type in that one Um, I just put in, I spelled flowers wrong. <laughs> okay, so you can pick this one, that one. You just want to make sure just the lines are thick. Now you can pick this thin one, but you just have to make it thicker. And I picked this one once before. Um, I like that one so I have that one but uh, you just pick one and then you just use that one if you don't have a uh, designer plus or a business edition to get your heart but make sure you get one that has uh, a thicker line I mean, like I say you can get the thinner line but you have to make it thicker uh, once you take the background out so let's get started so I'm gonna go back here so I got the one from over here and now I just need to make it thicker by going to the line to the line style thickness and I'm just gonna click in the box until I get it the size I want and I think that's okay so I don't like the roundness right here and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit I don't like the roundness here or at the bottom so I'm just gonna click on this have this sharp corner here and that's what I want and now you see it made it sharp okay so I'm gonna zoom out and now I'm getting ready to change it to black color fill and black oops sorry no color fill I don't want the color fill I just want the outline let me click back on it and go to the outline I want the outline black I don't want to fill it in I want it open okay so now we get ready to type in some stuff okay I'm just gonna say happy birthday that's all okay then I'm gonna click right click copy control V and this happy gonna go here double click 
drag and birthday. Gonna go here and just say I just put my name here. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just click on this. No, actually, I can just do a uh, just come up here and do a paste and it'll bring the happy back. And then I'm just double click and to mm, I think I don't know. say Jessica. Okay, so now I have all that. And let me see. Okay, so I'm trying to think what else I could put on there. So let me do the words and stuff first. So what I want to do is get these words to curve around this heart. Now, Jessica is actually going to be round about down here. Maybe I don't know yet, but let me just start on this. So I don't want to change the color. I don't want to change the font until I get the shape around. So I'm going to double click on it and you see this white button here. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. You want to take that, hold your left button down on your mouse and let that touch. See, so it touch too much so it goes on the inside. I want it to go on top. So you kind of keep your arrow up, but not too far up where it flips it back inside. So I want it to be about right there. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for birthday. Grab this white piece. I just wanted to touch just a little bit. There you go. All right. So I'm going to zoom in around. And it takes practice because this drove me crazy when I first started doing it. And I'm going to double click on you again. I want to bring you back over a little bit that way. Okay. So that's how I want that. So now what I need to do is... So this is fine, but when I change the font, if I change the font, depending on what the font is, some of the letters are going to be a little bit spread it out too far. So if you want, you can go ahead and if it does that, you can use the character spacing. And with the character spacing, you can actually make it go all the way around uh, as far as you can make it. And I think if you type some numbers in, it probably go further than that. But um yeah, if you want it like this, you can do it like that or bring the letters together like that. You can do that. And I think I like that like that. So I'm going to click on this one as well and see if I can bring those letters in a little bit more. And double click on it and see if I can bring you closer to the top. Okay, so I like that. So now I'm going to keep these letters here, but I can't pull them off because they actually attach to this heart. So in order for me to get that off, I will have to group it and go up here to object and make compound path. Now I can take this off of here and it still stay in that, sh that curve shape to be sit back on. I'm going to do the same thing to this object make compound path. Now I'm getting ready to just bring it down right there and I'm bringing this down and when I'm bringing it down I might have to turn this happy just a little bit just to get inside of there and it still has its shape so all right, so now that I, I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and change these to a, a color. And I'm going to change, what is my favorite color? I, I like red. I like greens. Um, I'm going, and I don't know why I'm stuck on this pink. I'm not a pink girl, but for some reason, this pink right here is so pretty. So I'm going to go to the line and say no outline even though you really can't tell because of the pink I know is there so now what I need to do is open this up so the letters 
replace the the curve outline there so i'm getting ready to go ahead and click on hold my left button down and group these two together and now i'm getting ready to go in make a offset around that and that is too big so I'm, I'm going to click on the left of this arrow and I think that's pretty good apply and then I'm getting ready to move this and I'm getting ready to click drag my mouse over the, the offset and the heart then I'm going to go over here to modify and I'm going to click subtract. Okay, so now I group this together so when I go back, I'm able to put that in between. Now I can keep what's in between here, the black and stuff, if I want to, or I can just get rid of it. So what I'm going to do is just drag my mouse over all of those copy and paste and we're going to see the difference okay so i'm going to with this one i'm going to take every black piece oops out of there get that one so it will give you an idea of how many different styles you can do you can do i mean it's so many different styles that i have done this way with that i mean you can have a different look every time okay so i'm gonna get rid of that where you go and that one so you have that now if you want this to touch now I did it with another one so what you can do is just drag it and you can drag this side to touch that like that. Now if you want these to touch what you have to do is click on that and ungroup. So now both of these are ungrouped from each other so you can take this side and you just push it towards that and you can take this side and push that towards that. And then now you can just go ahead and regroup that back together. But I wouldn't do that right now, especially if you get ready to uh, add something else. So leave these, don't group these to the hearts yet because you're getting ready to group something else. Now with this, you can go ahead and keep it like that or you can do it like this. This piece right here, I would just go ahead and take out any little itty bitty pieces that really don't make sense. I would just go and take the, oops, just go get the arrow I'll just go and take those out okay so now you have that so I will leave the, this one I will take out to that little piece right there okay so now you have this style and you have this style. I actually like this one right here uh, these little things in between is like driving me crazy look like somebody looking at me or something or whatever anyway so now I'm getting ready to put the other word what did I do with it let me zoom out Jessica okay so I'm going to copy control V and put she, put her over there okay let's zoom in bring you over okay so let's work on this one here so this happy birthday Jessica and if you just want to do this and like you, you can make, actually you can make a sticker out of this. And then if you giving her a gift or something, you can just stick it on the box or stick it on a bag. And yeah, so this one might be a little tricky. Okay. So I want that to touch that right there on the edge. I don't know why that keeps going down like that. Okay, and then I'm going to stretch this one on here. Okay, so now that I have Jessica there, I like the name, or I can just go ahead and change the font. And this is my favorite font right here, but I'm going to leave it just like it is. Okay, so I'm going to change this one color to pink as well. 
and I'm going to do an offset behind her as well. And I'm going to go down. I don't want it that big. And oops, accidentally. I want to click on this. Oh, the offset is separate. Darn it. Okay. Let me go back. Maybe I maybe I get another one. Maybe I will change her font because I want her to kind of connect. So I'll change it to this. I don't care at this point. Okay. And bring this in. Okay. So now you see how um, the S is touching the I and the I is touching the C and the C is touching the A. You want to, to weld that together so it'd be one continuous flow of the leather. And also I want to do is ungroup it so I can bring this J. And so now I want to click on all the letters. Let me get this right there. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to weld. Now you see how all of it attached to each other, even the J. And then I'm going to group. Okay. So now that I group, I'm going to go ahead and change the color to um uh maybe I change it to this color. I'll just go ahead and change it to the pink, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm just showing you how to do some. So now I'm going to keep my Jessica clicked and go over to offset and I'm gonna bring it down some by clicking on the left side of the arrow I think I want to go up just a little bit that's too much let me go down with the arrow uh, go up okay that's fine right there I don't like this out like that so what I'm gonna do is click on uh, the offset is already highlighted I'm gonna click on Jessica as well and I'm just going to move both of them down at the same time. That way it won't resize one without resizing the other. Okay, so now it's there. So now I'm going to click on, I'm going to just remove Jessica. And now I'm getting ready to click on Jessica, the outline and the heart. And I need to move this out the way. Okay, Jessica, oops. Jessica and the heart. And then now I'm going to go to the offset. I mean, not offset, go to the modify and click subtract. Okay, so I can get rid of this because I don't need it. And I can get rid of that because I don't need it. And all I have to do is replace it with this. Okay. So now I'm getting ready to go ahead and group all this together. And there you have a nice little um, label and if you want to make it into a sticker you have to put an offset around it so you go to your star put an offset and what I this will be kind of cute hit apply and what I would do is hit the offset again and you want to get rid of these things in the inside here you don't want them to cut out I wouldn't want them to cut out but um, I would right click and release compound path 
That is not what. No, 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 no. I must have hit the. Oh, it might be already in there. Let me see. Nope. I have to do. I have to click uh, release compound. Okay. Now I can get rid of these things here. I don't want those in the inside. In this way here. 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 Okay, I think that's about it. So what I'm going to do is change it to white. Oh. Do I want this to cut out like that? Oh, that would be a cute sticker though. If it cuts around here and this be like an opening. That would be really pretty. And you just peel it off. Yeah. And the sticker would look like this. So just say this is white. Let's change this to white. And what it would do, it would cut, this would be cut out here. And then of course it would cut all this out inside of here. So you have like an opening with all this. And then the outline of it will be white. So let me see if I can do a, let me see if I take this off. Nope, I can't take it off. Well, it will cut out like this. And my silhouette is not working, so I, I wish I could be able to cut it out and show you exactly what I'm talking about. But my silhouette is not working and I can't, you know, get one right now. So, um, yeah, but that will be really, really cute. You could put it on sticker paper. And like I say, you'll just peel it off and all this will be gone and all this will be gone. And you will just have this Jessica attached to the, the heart and the happy birthday and all that stuff still attached. That would be really cute. So that's one way you can do that. Or you can just leave the white, take this stuff off. Oops. Take these, take this off and you would just have a sticker uh, just to peel off and it'll have the white and everything on it so yeah so that's another way you can do it or like I said you can leave this on and it will actually cut that middle out and you can see through that and also with this one as well yep okay so now let's go to the next one so I'm going to go ahead and group that and so it can get out of my way bring you over here okay so now we do the same thing like we did with that one. We already did that one. You, Like I said, if you want to keep these little things on there, you can. Uh, I don't really like them on there, but you can do it. Keep them on there. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this stuff over here. So now I'm getting ready to do Jessica again. But this time I'm going to see if I can wrap her around the side of this one. With a big name on the side. Okay. And I'm going to need to go back to the character spacing. Because her J is a little bit too far. And then if it gets too close. You can always ungroup it. And move the uh, letter over. Okay. So I like that right there. So... I'm going to go ahead and object make compound path so it releases it and I also can do a release compound that way I can bring this J over and then yes I would have to um, click on each letter to group it back together and right click and group Okay, so now I have that. I can change the color. Let's do, oops, sorry. I grouped it together before I did a make compound path. Come on. Oh, there you go. Okay, I'm going to have to move this out the way. I'm not trying to make you no compound path. So let me go back. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's go back. 
I missed a step. I don't know what I missed, but I missed a step. Okay. So make compound path before I undo it, right? Let me see. Nope. Still got to go back a little bit more. Mm hmm. Okay, I see it now. I only need to make compound path for the E anyway, so let's just hit on the one that you need to open up that that uh, A. And now I can change the colors. See? And I'm going to hold my shift key down because I, I really don't feel like doing it one at a time. And I'm going to do purple. Go up on the line and no, I don't really like the purple. No line, I don't. And I'm gonna hold my shift key down and change it back to pink. Go to fill in and pink. And I need to bring that eye down some. Okay, so now I need to. Group them all back together. And group. Bring that down some. And bring it down about right here. Unless I wanted to come in here like this. You can like curve. Okay, so now I'm going to do an offset. bring it in some. I don't want it to be that much. That's fine. I'm going to hit on the offset. I have to group the offset. Group. And hit the heart. Go to modify and subtract. Bring back over here. I think this is where it goes. Right there. Now I could take this stuff out if I want to, or I can leave it in. But it would look this one would look kind of weird without something in between. I probably can take out that. This one. This one. And this one. Mm, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. Delete all that. And now you can go ahead and group it all together. And now you have another heart that you can um, use. Now I know this J is kind of sticking out, but it gives it character. So it's something different. It's, you don't have to do what everybody else does. You don't even have to do what I'm doing, but I just want you to get in the habit of, you know, stepping outside the box and doing something different you can do it any way you want to do it um but just be creative let me bring that down some in the middle i think it's I think about right there i think this had touched this a little bit yeah so i like that that's really nice so even with this in it the little black pieces in it here um i still like it a little bit not a lot uh, i think i need to turn this a little bit maybe bring it down some maybe yeah okay so that's it for that i'm getting ready to group it and now you have another one and actually you can put this on like invitations or you can put it on uh you can make it big and make it into a menu. Just be creative. I Sometimes I'd be up all night thinking about different stuff that I can uh, create uh, in the, the silhouette. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little bit something today. Uh, if not, I'm sorry. Maybe next time. So until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.